So if you're not pregnant, what's this family project? Exactly what it sounds like. A project that involves the whole family. Ours and yours. Can you be a little more specific, Christina? The grad student I mentioned? Mm -hmm. He's in media studies, and he has a great new idea for a new reality show. A reality show? About us. With me as a star. It's gonna be called Mob Princess. Could it be any more perfect? What the hell are you talking about? The media is glutted with shows about desperate people who will do anything to get on TV. And while I think the idea of a reality show called Ma Princess would appeal to the lowest common denominator, I'm quite certain she's joking. I'm dead serious. I'm shooting a reality show about my life. I phrased that last description so that in case you weren't joking, you would see that it's a really, really bad idea. Well, I think it's a really, really good idea. But don't worry, I'm not gonna steal the limelight. I'm gonna have a fabulous supporting cast. You. And you. You. And you. Trust me, Christina, the last thing this family needs is any more media exposure. Sorry, I disagree. You should all get ready for your close-ups. The cameras start rolling any minute. No, they're not. Because this attitude of yours, I'm done with it. Obviously, we need to talk about what happened at school with <laughs> what Christina happened? off camera. What happened was that my mob lawyer mother allowed my mob boss father to bribe, intimidate, or otherwise threaten someone to let me into Yale. We called in favors on your behalf, Christina. What's wrong with that? Did it ever occur to either of you how humiliating it would be when people found out? Honey, I know, and we're sorry. No, you're sorry. I'm not sorry. Because I did what I thought was best for my daughter. Then we're in agreement. For once. This probably is the best thing that could have ever happened. Okay. That's great. So then why are you so angry? Like Molly says, when one door closes, another one opens. My college career may be over, but now I have a whole new future. Oh, no. Oh, Christina, as you know, I got into reality TV, and trust me, it was a big mistake. I regret it. I think you're going to do the same thing. I think you're going to regret it. I disagree. You know what? You Wait, should start I, listening I, I, more. That's I, what you should do. You are, you, are, you are highly overreacting to, to us. Very unfortunate situation. Unfortunate. What your father and I did, we, we had the best of intentions, but it was misguided. He doesn't think so. He usually lets me take the lead when it comes to academics. So is your idea to use extortion to get me into Yale? Help. Yeah, come here. Get back. All right, listen to me, okay? You, I, we gave you what you wanted. You made your choice, right? You turned it down. Do not expect me to apologize. Why would I expect you to care how I feel about anything? He cares. He, your father cares, I care. We all care. And in retrospect, we should have supported your decision to go into fashion. But it's not too late. Apparently, I haven't been clear. From now on, you don't control me anymore. I'm taking charge of my life and this project. This reality show is not going to happen, OK? Because okay? we're not putting our whole family okay. on live TV Please. for the whole world to see. It's not, I'm not, I'm not doing Ms. Davis? Where would you like us to set up? Looks like we are. Get those cameras out of my face. This is my crew. They're going to be following me around everywhere. It's Mob Princess. Rolling. Hi, I'm Christina Corinthus Davis. Mob Princess. Come on in and meet the gang, starting with... The gangster. Christina, this is not how we handle things in this family. And how does this family handle things, Daddy? Over Sunday night dinners or chats in the den? Uh, well, actually, sometimes we do eat dinners together. I mean, we're not very interesting. I'm so sick and tired of pretending we're the average American family when we're so much more colorful. Well, the average American family doesn't threaten camera crews with injunctions and lawsuits. What you mean? Hey, Christina, can I talk to you, please? Unless everything's all changed since the last time oh. I was here, recovering from a life-threatening surgery, from nearly getting blown up by a car bomb my dad meant for Johnny Zakara. Can we go somewhere to talk, please? Just you and me. Meet my sister, oh, Samantha that. McCall Morgan. We all call her Sam, though. Yeah. Not a mob princess by birth, but she married into the royal family. Her husband is my father's number one henchman. We call it an enforcer. Can you say enforcer? That's it. And this is my little sister, Molly Lansing Davis. Say hi to America, Molly. Hi. Actually, Molly is my half-sister. Rick Lansing is her father, who is my father's half-brother. 
There's lots of halves here. And a mob lawyer, just like my mom, who obviously got knocked up by two mobster brothers. Okay, this needs I'm to really stop, sorry, Christina. I'm really sorry, you won't be able to meet my brothers today. Happily, my brother Michael is out of prison, though we only got sent there because of our dad. Christina, stop. And my I little brother Morgan that. is off in military school, stashed away somewhere, probably learning how to become a sniper, but we miss him dearly. Stop it. <laughs> but my oldest brother, Dante, is a cop, the only member of our family on the right side of the law, which was the only reason my dad needed to shoot him. Okay, you gotta stop rolling these cameras. Keep hey, rolling. Did I mention I'm a product of a sleazy one-night stand? That's not how it happened. It's not. <laughs> and of course, there's dear old dad. You gotta turn off these Come cameras. Come on, dad. Okay. You should be used to this by now. All the cameras in your face and trials in the courthouse. Now, I'm gonna warn you right now, if you don't turn these cameras off, I will... Oh, or you'll oh. what? What? Oh my god, you're, Dad. You're lucky the camera's the only thing I oh. that I broke. Darn it, not now. Listen to me, okay? I know that you're angry, but this is not you. Christina, your father's right. You have got to stop this. Yeah, please, can't we just talk this out? Sam? What? Come here. Huh? What's going on? I just got this from Jason. He get, he left it an hour ago, but with all of this stuff going on. What? He's been arrested in connection with Franco's death. Go, you guys get out of here. Fun's over. You can smash as many cameras as you want. We're just gonna bring in more. Steve. The show is happening. No, but that's not fair. You never even asked. You just left them in. This is a complete invasion of privacy. I'm not allowing it. Here's the deal. I move back in here with my crew, and not only will you allow it, you'll all be part of my show. Or... I walk out the door and you'll never see me again. You mad at me? Would it matter if I was? You're so caught up in your own drama, you don't care what you're doing to anyone else. I know this isn't fair for you and Sam. I'm just trying to get back at my parents. <laughs> You've made your point. Mom and Sonny are upset. Are you really gonna go through with this? If everybody at Yale thinks I'm a mob princess, then it's exactly what I'm gonna be. Don't worry. This will be fun for you. It's not so far. You created a fairy tale for yourself your whole life. Welcome to reality. I should never have let you do whatever it is that you did. I have lost all moral authority with her. She now sees firsthand that I practice situational ethics. She's threatening to put our family on national television. This has to be stopped. You lied to her. She's humiliated. Why? Because we, we sent her to God. Because we stacked the deck. You know, it's going to be a long time before she forgives us. But the good news is she's still talking to us. If you call blackmailing talking. You blackmail me, she blackmails you. It's all in the DNA. You hurt her. If we don't do this, she's leaving. We can't do it. We can't do it. We can't not do it. I will I'm not losing her. I won't lose my kid. You don't just walk out on somebody you love. 